Sorry guys, this isn't part two of my computer case build yet. I'm still waiting for some more parts. But in the meantime, I had some questions about the laser cutter. I had someone who asked uh, if it can engrave metal. So in fact, they asked if, they, if I can engrave their name on a bottle opener. So that's what I'm trying to do today. And see what I can do to a bottle opener. So to start off with, the uh, metal is going to be too reflective. So it just needs a bit of tape on it to give the laser something to actually hit. Trim off the sides. All right, there you go. So before anyone says anything, I know I only have a 40 watt laser and I'm fairly certain it won't do anything to this. But I thought I'd try it out and see what it does anyway. So it looks like it's cut away nicely, but if you peel this off, from some angles you can see the logo, which looks like a good success, right? But the way this worked was it the laser burnt away the actual paper of the tape, the master tape, and it's left the residue. A little bit of rubbing alcohol, and the logo's gone. But when I first tried this, it gave me an idea. What if I used the laser to just cut away some tape to allow me to create a mask? So instead of actually trying to engrave with a laser, I just used the laser to put a stencil on. Now if we take a layer of masking tape, sorry, electrical tape, so there we go. A nice layer of tape over the bar blade. What I'm going to use the laser for this time is to cut the outline of the logo, remove the inside, and I'm going to be left with a stencil I can use to etch the stainless steel. There's our logo. Now they've got one. So you can see right where the joins are, fine bits, is also where the tape doubled up, which didn't work too well. There we go. It's all stuck down. I'm left with a nice mask. All right, for this part, hand protection, eye protection. So I'm using some ferric chloride solution, which is a moderately strong acid. So hand and eye protection is a must. I'll take some of this ferric chloride and just paste this on. I'm gonna give this about I think about half an hour to an hour. All right, let's come back in half an hour and see how it goes. <clears throat> so here we go, 40 minutes later. I have agitated a bit a few times during that, but let's rinse it off and see what happens. Alright, take the tape off and see how it went. So it looks like the acid may have seeped underneath it, so I probably should have been wearing gloves till this point, but I'll give it a thorough wash and see how it turns out. So for the first try, as a proof of concept it turned out alright, the etching stayed in it. Unfortunately the masking didn't work too well. I think the problem was that I had layers of tape to mask it, which where they overlapped created a bit of a cavity which allowed the uh, acid to go up through. You can see these little lines off to the side here and here, which is where the acid came on the sides. Also, where they overlapped was right where the finest points were and the laser didn't quite cut through two layers. So the logo moved around a bit. But how about we give another shot, try and fix these problems and see how that goes.
Alright, let's give this a scrub and see if I can clean that off. So there we go, I think that turned out pretty well. It definitely works out much better with a single piece of tape because it's got some nice crisp clean edges and I made sure I actually ran the laser for a little bit more powerful and a little bit slower to actually make sure I got right through the cuts. Maybe the etching could have been a bit more even. Uh, if I soak it in a bath, it might be better than trying to just paste it on like I did because it got a bit patchy. But other than that, I think this turned out pretty well. Now I've just got another one of these to make and then I'll see what else I can do with the laser cutter. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. And if you're keen to see the second half of that computer build, make sure you stay subscribed because it's probably going to be the next video I put out. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. See ya.